Without water, we don't have life, we don't have industry, we don't have farming, we don't have food. So ensuring the water quality for future generations and ensuring the reef for future generations is so important. With the recent impact of climate change on the Great Barrier Reef and the recent coral bleaching, it's now more important than ever to bring more people to the table to improve the resilience on the reef. In the Paddock to Reef program, we sample water quality in our creeks and streams that discharge water to the Great Barrier Reef. By monitoring our waterways, um, we can assess that what condition that they're at. We also look at how dirty the water is, um, the sediment that's in the water. And we also assess it for pesticides and what the pesticide concentrations are. The Paddock to Reef program has a modelling component and it can forecast um, and assess where investment is needed so that the government can invest um, specifically in certain areas and get value from that investment. So the team based in Brisbane work with regional stakeholders, um, everywhere from the Burnett Mary region all the way up to the Cape York as far as Pasco. The team spend some time with the farmers. They teach them how to sample the water quality and how to record all the metadata and the information about the sample. The Sandy Creek farmers are an active group of farmers um, south of Mackay and they actively put their hand up to be involved in taking samples themselves so they can learn from that water quality information and then take that information back and collectively as a group try to improve their local water quality. It's quite encouraging to see them take that data and then go back to their farms and tweak their practices to um, have a positive effect. The Paddock to Reef program is definitely not about policing. Ultimately, we're all trying to improve water quality and it's all for the reef and ensuring its resilience for the future generations. It's not the only program where this is happening, it's happening across the state. I think it's up to everybody. It's not an easy fix. Improving water quality is hard. But if we're all at the table, I think we'll achieve what we're trying to do. We're trying to improve water quality and we're trying to make a difference and we're trying to look after the Great Barrier Reef.